Recently, I ran into one of the weirdest problems I've ever experienced. My PC wouldn't boot, only when the Valve Index was plugged in. So today, I'm gonna show you how to fix it, and we'll briefly talk about uh, what caused the problem in the first place. Hello and welcome. My name is Wolfie. You're watching Greater Than Pi. And if this is your first video, thank you for journeying to our little corner of the internet. And if this is your second or third video and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And more importantly, if you are subscribed, thank you. I really appreciate you. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Valve Index not allowing the PC to boot and the weirdness that comes from that. So let's first talk about the problem. More recently, I had a power outage that caused my BIOS to actually reset on my motherboard. And whenever my Valve Index was plugged in, for some reason, I could not get it to actually boot. Now, boot and post are two different things. Being able to post means I can get it into the BIOS and actually control things through the BIOS, which we were able to do, fortunately. Boot means that it's not kicking off to the Windows Boot Manager and actually booting into Windows, which is particularly weird. There was no real change in configuration. So my options are I've got a dead drive or something's going on with the index. Now, part of troubleshooting something like this is actually to unplug every unnecessary cable and to run just one monitor, keyboard, and mouse. And I did that and we booted just fine. I plugged everything back in and then we didn't. And that's, that's how I figured out that our issue revolves around the index somehow. Now I tried disconnecting the USB cables from the index to see if maybe that helped. And it did. So I tried disconnecting the power from the valve index USB cable and that didn't change anything. I unplugged the cable completely. It would boot just fine. But then plugging in and replugging in the cable was just kind of annoying. And even more so, I was wearing out the connector, which you don't really want to do. And so I was faced with a problem that seemed like it had no real solutions. That was until I started just poking around in the BIOS and I found something interesting. For some reason, the Valve Index has storage built into it, probably to store the bits of OS that it needs to actually run and translate its data. And because of that, it has just enough storage for a motherboard to think that it is a bootable storage device, which is not actually the case. So the solution for this is actually very simple, but might be a little confusing if you aren't as familiar with navigating around the BIOS of your motherboard. So from your main menu of your uh, ASRock UEFI for the Razer BIOS, it's literally right up here, it, this option that says boot. And then from boot, you're gonna have these options right up here. So boot option one, boot option two, boot option three, boot option four. You'll probably have one or two if you only have one boot drive and your index plugged in. You're just gonna wanna make sure that one of these is not set to the USB B so that it will specifically only use the Windows boot manager because it's thinking that there's a bootable USB inside of the uh, valve index. So just change that and yeah, you should be good. And this is very similar to how it looks on a lot of different motherboards. That's all you got to do. Disable the wrong one. Now, if you do have multiple boot drives, you should know which drive is which. We've talked about it in the past when talking about dual booting Linux on your computer, but the most important thing is to really just know which drive is which. After it's disabled, you should be able to avoid this problem 100% of the time going forward. Now, if you are running into issues, some motherboards have a secure boot setting, which you can enable that will only boot to a specific drive. Mine does have that setting, but it does also lock you out of the BIOS, which for me, isn't an option because, well, I need to get into the BIOS. And the worst part is if you don't have a motherboard that has a BIOS reset switch on the back of the motherboard, you're gonna be popping out that CMOS battery to get into that BIOS if you screw something up, like not change your XMP profile. So overall, it's a really weird problem, but it is a really easy fix. And I hope that it has at least helped one of you guys. And if it has, maybe leave a comment down below, leave a like, and if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next video. Wolfie, out.